Norman, what are you doing? What are you gonna do with that thing? I think we're about to find out. You need to know. Harry's gone. Host and Symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the Symbiote. How? By killing the host. Please, save my boy. I know you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these... things. I'm on it. Stay safe out there. All he needed was that meteorite. Now he can heal the... <laughs> that suit's not an alien, is it? It's time for a Miles Morales original, you know? One of one. <laughs> it looks good. <sighs> what happened, man? Harry got the meteorite. I, uh... I couldn't stop him. Connor said we can't save him, so we have... I can't lose him, Miles. I can't do this again. I saw me when I was in your head. It's not your fault, Pete. She wanted to save you, to save all of us. She never thought about herself, even when she was struggling to breathe. If May 
my dad, if they were here, they would want us to stop thinking about them. They'd want us to help people, to fight. Harry's still in there. And we're gonna fight like hell to get him back. Call the play, coach. All right. Let's split up. Cover more ground. You find the meteorite, I'll clear that nest out. You got it, Spider-Man. Get started. I have to check out that infected skyscraper I saw with Pete. Gotta clear it out and move on to the next. Countdown begins. <laughs> Looks like that scared you, huh? I must be on to something important for you to try to defend yourself like this. Voice coming from. I can't let them get to the heart. How's it going, Spider Man? I think I'm almost done clearing this nest. But Pete. I'm hearing these voices. I hear them too. Keep looking for that meteorite. Don't let him get in your head. That's not Harry talking. Right. You're right. Call me when you finish up. Stay focused, Pete. turn into symbiotes? You are safe here. Everyone. 
one you love is safe here. My head. I have to find a way out. Why would you leave? We are here. You can be too. You, Peter, us. This isn't where I belong, Harry. Neither do you. Come on, Miles. Come on. Haley? What are you showing me? Please join us. Haley's in trouble. Pete, I saw the meteorite. It's under the Harlem subway station, next to the bridge. Heading there now! Wait for me though, man. Harry, he's after you. I have to go help Haley, but just wait, all right? Whoa, whoa, back up! What happened? I got sucked into the hive mind. Saw this vision of the meteorite underground. But I've got a bad feeling. You think Harry's there? I'm serious, Pete. Just give me 10 minutes. You cannot do this alone. Right. Call me when you're done. Sorry, Miles, but I can't waste any time. There's the subway entrance. Hey, everything all good with Haley? Not yet, but you still owe me a few more minutes. Hang tight! Haley! No! What are you doing here? I was... I was trying to save... You. You're incredible. I, I like you so much, and I think you like me. Do you want to go out? On a date? Is that a yes? <laughs> well, it's a date then. After all this is over. Harry, leave a message. Hey, buddy. I talked to Dr. Connors. He says you're too far gone, but I know that's not true. Harry, I messed up. It was terrible to you. Your dream, our dream, healing the world. I'm sorry. Peter, you're here. I'm here. Are you finally ready? Harry, I can't. Oh. 
Spider-Man, who are you? Did you go down there? You were right. It has to be here. He has to... I'm sorry, I couldn't... I know, man. I'll try to find a way inside. It's gonna be okay. Everyone's gonna be okay. <laughs> Meteorite! I'm so close! Seeing a rock. No? Hold on, I'm nearly to you. Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. Harry, what are you? We are healed. Finally free. <laughs> MJ, we all need to meet at Bad May's house. What's going on out there, guys? It's the meteorite that the symbiote arrived in. He's using it to transform the city. I know where it is. And we're gonna steal it. Time to game plan. I'm in. See you guys at home. Listeners, I implore you. Stay inside your homes. Lock the doors. Board the windows. Trust no one. The city is overrun with a miasma of massive, oppressive tendrils emanating from the ground beneath our feet, spawning creatures from what feels like hell itself. They're capturing us, converting us, and will soon overtake us. Don't give them the chance. While the government sits on its hands, my loyal listeners have taken to the forum, looking for any signs of weakness these creatures show. We will defend ourselves. We know we can't count on the Spider-Men to save us. If this last week's events have proven anything beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's that the heroes make things worse, not better. In the meantime, stay safe. Remain vigilant. We will get through. New York does not go down without a fight. And I will be there. Right next to you, on the front line. Dodge. May we all see
Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. Fire up the accelerator. <sighs> no more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? <laughs> Theoretically. Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are it you won't ready? come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Meteorite is somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. <sighs> They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Oh, come on, bro. We're the spider team. <laughs> Don't anyone forget it? Hey, buddy! You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? You and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. Our gift will finally be yours. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> You're gonna have to catch me first. Sorry, Watson. What was that? A dead end? No. There has to be a way in. Oh, 
Whoever dropped these flares, I hope they made it out. Meteorites connected to the rest of the hive. Just a normal rock. I can also end the world. Alive. Gotta get out of here. If I get this rock back, it's game over. Please let this lead somewhere good. My exit's just past that chopper. <laughs> the sky. Almost out of this hellhole. Looks like my exit's just past that chopper. I think that hurt. 
Plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry! Harry! Join us. 
Why do you keep fighting us? You're not giving me a choice! Whoa, symbiote's dropping in.
them mad we took their stuff. Yeah, well, they started it. Away from us! 
Took him away! What the hell are you talking about? In the forest, we remember what you did. Harry! Man, that's the symbiote talking, not you! You were jealous. That's why you pushed us apart. Maybe I was, but Peach was in peace. Thought I clipped his wings. You think you're better than us, don't you? This ain't about who's better. I just prefer you without the psycho alien on. Let's end this.
Either way, P. No, no, no. We still have time. No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, P. Together. It's gonna work, but I gotta try.
Harry. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. There are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. Uh... 
You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about some. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you there all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. Uh, I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you... Are you sure? It's... It's a big city. I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. Maybe not now, but... There'll come a time. I'm here for you. Always. Big bro. What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruined my son. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter. You're hungry. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. Some guy in Harlem, probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Yeah. Hey. 
Neely. This is Albert. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy.